Greetings and welcome to the Astronomy Picture of the Day podcast. Today's picture for January 31st of 2024 is titled Camera Orion Rising. So what do we see here? Well, here we see the area around the constellation of Orion. And here is an image that was taken just with a camera. So no telescope or binoculars or anything else involved here. A camera pointing at the sky. Now, if you just try to normally take a picture like this, you certainly won't see this much detail. You'd be lucky to see some of the brighter stars, depending on your location. But you would not see all of that nebula. In order to do that, you need to take a much longer exposure. You need to leave the camera open for a significant period of time, not just the normal fraction of a second that we take a picture. And that allows more detail and light that is spread out to be imaged. And here we can see a number of different nebulae, uh, which have been labeled here. And you can see things like the Flame Nebula and the Orion Nebula, which is in the Sword of Orion. And you can also see two of the bright stars in Orion toward the middle there. And toward the upper left hand side of Orion, we see Betelgeuse, the uh, one of the bright stars in Orion, and a very red star, you can see the red coloring there. And toward the lower right of Orion, we see Rigel, again, one of the other two bright stars in Orion, but a very blue star telling us something about their temperatures. Rigel being blue is a much hotter star than Betelgeuse as a red star. Now all that nebulosity is not normally visible to your eye. It takes a very long exposure to bring that out. And normally you can't just take a long exposure because if you set a camera out uh, on a tripod say and try leave the leave it open the sky is moving. Well we really know that of course the earth is rotating making the sky appear to move. But the the camera on Earth will then be changing its position relative to the stars and you would get streaks of light instead of an image like this. So it has to be set up so that it tracks the sky. And in fact, many most telescopes will do this. They will track the, track the sky. They have motors on them that will adjust for the rotation of the Earth and take that out so that they will continue pointing at the same position in the sky, even as the Earth is turning. So we see those within Orion and if you work you can actually make out the stars in Orion Orion kind of tilted here uh, going from upper uh, right upper sorry upper left to lower right with the nebula being there and right where it says flame nebula is going across a couple of the stars in the belt of Orion. Now those aren't the only stars visible here up above Orion we see Aldebaran in the constellation of Taurus and above that we see the Pleiades star cluster which is a group of stars and we can see those blue stars high up above at the very top of the screen. The brightest star in the sky other than our own sun of course is Sirius and Sirius is visible down just above the horizon on the lower left hand side. So we see a number of different stars present here. But the key thing is we're looking at that deep exposure, which brings out all of the detail, things like the flame nebula and the Orion nebula in Orion, as well as things like the rosette nebula off to the left hand side. So that all that detail is always there. But it just takes a longer exposure to bring out the much fainter details that our eyes would never be able to see. So that was our picture of the day for January 31st of 2024. It was titled Camera Orion Rising. We'll be back again tomorrow for the next picture. So until then, have a great day everyone, and I will see you in class.